Okay, we're just going to give it a minute. I'm hoping you can see us all. Um, but just a big hello to everybody. We're really pleased that you can all join us for the live, but there's also obviously a recording of this. So hopefully if you can't meet us for other commitments, which we can completely understand, um, we hope you enjoy hearing all about what your children will be up to this year in year one. So um, to start with, my name is Mrs Gibbons. I am one of the class teachers in Flamingos. Our other lovely teacher is Mrs Collins, who can't be with us today. Um, however, she works on a Thursday and a Friday in Flamingos and I work the beginning of the week, Monday to Wednesday. Um, we also have, thank you, Armstrong, okay. um, we also have uh, Mrs Cameron with us every morning. We have Mrs Malikin with us. We also have Miss Bella in with us and Miss Day. Um, and I'm trying to think if I've got anyone else. You have Mrs Evans. And Mrs afternoon. Evans in the afternoons. Um, and I'm Miss Armstrong. Hi, I am the Penguins teacher this year. Um, and in with us this year, we've got Mrs Clover Lambert, who's our general TA. And then we've got Mrs Evans in the mornings and um, Miss on Monday to Wednesday. And then we've got Mrs Sawyer Thursday, Friday as well in the mornings. Fantastic. Yeah, shall we so, get started? Think, yep, we will let's get started. It. So let's hope it Hopefully works. Everyone oh, can hear hello. Us. So we've just done a little bit of a chit chat about it popped we up. Have. I think it's gone. I was we just checking that no one <laughs> said they can hear us. Um, so we, we've just done a quick chit chat about um, who is in each class and what's going on. But here's obviously the layout for you so that you can see. Um, and we'll move on. Yeah. Um, so the structure of the day is... Um, obviously has changed slightly for us because our opening hours have changed. So as you all know, we arrive at eight, between 8.35 and 8.45. The children come straight in and they've got early morning work to complete, uh, which changes every day. Once we've done the register and the early morning work, we go straight to phonics and then on to English. Um, on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, we have assembly. Um, so that is at 10 past 10, which then falls straight into play. Um, after play, we have a bit of a break for a snack. So they have their fruit. And if they are on the milk list, they have milk. If you want your child to have milk, you just have to sign up um, via the Groveland's website. There's, um, is it a Sims link? I think there is, but if not, um, the ladies in the office would always be able to help you and direct you if you find that you can't find it. Yeah, and then we move on to maths, um, which we follow the Whiteberry scheme for that one. Then lunch, and then in the afternoon, we have one foundation subject. Then we have an afternoon play. And then at the moment, we're sort of still transitioning, but we'll be towards the end of um, autumn one, we'll do another foundation um, after play as well. And then end of the day at quarter past three. Um, just adding to that, sorry, I had a complete mind blank then. Um, but occasionally we might do things different way around. So the, the majority of the time we do English first and then we'll do math. Some days it might be that I know on a Tuesday we have PE and things like that. So the yeah. timetable is a slightly different. However, the children know the general timetable and structure. Um, so this is our curriculum. Oh, hang on. Uh, well, okay. We will come to the questions um, at the end in a second. We can talk about <laughs> it now anyway. Oh, yeah, we can. <laughs> um, so our curriculum, obviously, we mentioned English. We have reading, sounds right, which is our phonics, writing and spag. They all come under the hat of English. Um, sounds right, which is our phonics scheme, is taught separately. Um, spag, we do through our English Spag lessons. Spelling, punctuation and grammar. Thank you, Miss Armstrong. Um, and obviously reading and writing all come onto that as well. Um, and then maths, we have our White Rose um, scheme, um, science, PE, PSHE, art, music, geography, history, RE, computing, DT and forest school. Now we don't actually teach all these subjects every single week. So we then. alternate between. So at the moment we're doing history, which means that after Christmas we will do geography. So some of them do alternate between different terms. Same with art and DT. So at the moment we're doing art, which means after half term we'll be doing DT for yeah. six weeks. Um, as you may be aware, they do forest school um, a half term and then it will move over to the other class so at the moment flamingos are doing forest school um, and that is taught through our ppa sessions um along with a couple of the other foundation subjects and so to answer the question about foundation subjects they are anything that is not the core learning so english math and science are core subjects and everything else is foundation so art music geography all of that are yeah. foundation subjects hang on ah. <laughs> No, oh, gone too far. Oh, you have gone too far. There we far. go. Um, so I don't know if they do this in reception. Do they do topics in reception? Slightly, it's a bit different. Okay, so we have structured topics um, in year one and you'll probably see it across the school as well. So a lot of the learning that we do every term or half term is focused around a theme. Many of you, um, I'm sure, have heard about the <laughs> rocket crash 
that we had um, last week, and that is to introduce our topic Moon Zoom. So at the moment we're doing Moon Zoom. So we're reading at the moment we're reading Bigu, which is a book about a lost alien. We'll be learning about um, the moon landing, the space race. Lots of our art is all focused around um, things to do with space. So all the learning we do at the moment is all to do with that. Then we move into, in the spring, we have a shorter topic, which is Enchanted Woodland. Um, so that is mainly a science-based topic where we talk about um, plants and trees and things like that. Then we have spring, which is our paws, claws and whiskers, which is my favourite one because uh, we yeah. go to the zoo. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, and that's all about animals and learning about mammals and birds and amphibians and things like that. Then Bright Lights, Big City. One of my favourites. Where our focus <laughs> is history because we learn about um, the Great Fire of London and we talk about London landmarks and how London it's, has changed. It is amazing. It's, it's such wonderful. a good topic. And then Summer 2 is Dinosaur Planet and that's fairly self-explanatory, I think, that one. So. Yeah, and it's really interesting, actually, as well. It's one that we were sort of a bit like, okay, what are we going to be doing? And um, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely they one. Love the kids they absolutely do. love it. So it's a really good topic. Um, so we have, as we've mentioned, a few spark days and educational visits. Um, so we organise these to try and help the children to um, be excited by the topic we're doing and the learning that we're doing. So we obviously had our rocket crash, which was a big hit with the children. They absolutely yes. adored it. Um, we run a variety of workshops through the year where sometimes we'll be running them or we might get external people in or occasionally we can go out to them. We have a visit from the David Shepherd Wildlife Trust. They come during our pools, pools and whiskers um, topic along with our zoo trip, which is obviously a big hit. We all love, we all love a trip all of a trip um, and we obviously do lots more as well uh so moving on to assessment um for any of you that have children further up the school you might be familiar with assessment there's year two sats and times table tests um year one assessment is very different um so all year one pupils are um required to take a phonics screener um it is a it's essentially a reading test and um, there's two sections. They have 20 real words to read with us and 20 nonsense words. Um, but the big difference between this and other assessments is they don't really know they're doing it. Um, we essentially all year practice reading nonsense words and um, it doesn't actually really mean anything for the children. It's more um, for us and our assessment. Yeah. Um, so that will be administered in June. But again, everything that we teach and our Sounds Right programme prepares them for all the learning and all the knowledge they need. They think so, it's a lot of the time near the end, they think it's a game and they normally get really frustrated if they're not picked for the game on different days because we'll run through practice papers and different words for them. They are so prepared for it. They come along and they sort of look at you like, oh, we're doing this again. OK, fine. By the just, end of it, they're like, oh, do we have to do yeah, more? Do we have words? to do more. Um, so it's we we just make it really fun because we know that learning needs to be fun for yeah. the children to achieve. So. And they don't, again, just to stress, they don't know they're doing it. It's not like formal testing. It's completely no. different. Completely so. different. Um, so I mentioned earlier we have PPA sessions. That's our planning, preparation and assessment time. Um, so every week we get an afternoon um, out to plan for the following week and obviously for subsequent terms that we're doing. Um, so the year one PPA is on a Thursday afternoon up until Christmas at the moment. Um, and then after Christmas, it will be moving back to a Wednesday afternoon um, and the children will be taught music. Ari as well. And Ari, yeah. yeah. Um, and Forest School. And that's where they're taking it in turns. So at the moment, Flamingos are doing Forest School up until half term, which means that Penguins are being taught Ari and Music. And then after half term, that swaps. Um, and it means that Ari and Music is taught in class in Flamingos with the class teachers instead of in PPA and then vice versa. Um, so the staff that are running our PPA sessions are Miss Stillwell, who works in Tigers Class Nursery in the mornings, and Mrs Giles, who does PPA cover throughout the school. They're both really, really lovely teachers. They are, they're wonderful. Uh, so moving on to homework. I'm sure you're all pleased. <laughs> um, so first things first, and I think what we'd all agree is the most important, is um, reading at home. So ideally, we would like you, if possible, to read on a daily basis. Um, year one is essentially the year that they learn to read. You, you find them going from cat, cat to actually being able to read sentences and enjoying stories. And um, the more exposure they get to, to stories and to reading, the better. So the more you can read at home, the better. Um, we're also starting to give out homework. It's going to be given out on a Wednesday afternoon and due back on a Monday. Um, it's closely linked to something that we're doing. And I just want to stress it should be 20 minutes. Maximum. It should be something they can do. It should be 20 minutes. Um, if it's not done in 20, just leave it. Yep. 
it shouldn't take a lot. The kids actually really enjoy doing their homework, usually. And if you're having a real problem with them not wanting to do their homework or it's becoming a bit of an issue, please do come and speak to us because we'll be able to help you with some solutions or find find a sort of middle ground for us all. Absolutely, but it shouldn't be an arduous task. Please, please, please don't spend hours doing it. Um, and you might also be aware in the front of their reading records that they've been given a NumBots login. Uh, this is not compulsory in any way, shape or form. It is um, a website that we buy into. If anyone's got older children, it's the same as Timetable Rockstars. Um, and it's just a fun game for them. They get their own robot character and they get to play sort of number fluency games and math games um, to earn points to change their robot. So it's a nice tool, especially for year one, where it's counting and doing one more and one less. Um, and it does work on tablets and phones. So And they absolutely love it. They so. do. Um, so our expectations, obviously attendance is a really important one. The more they're here, the better their learning will be. Um, obviously, if they are unwell, please don't send them in because we don't need um, the bugs going around. We've had many, many over the years work their way through, obviously. But please do ensure that they are at school on time each day and that they do attend every day unless they are unwell. Um, our expectation is that the children should be in for 90 percent of the time or above 96. 90 percent 96 percent. i can't <laughs> read today um 96 percent of the time um or above obviously 100 percent is amazing um but it, if they're not well please don't please don't send them in um and to let the office know in the morning that they're not going to be in so that we can make a log of their um absence um uniform is obviously a very important one as well we want the children to look really smart um so we would like to make sure that they are in line with the grovens uniform un to uniform expectations um, and please also be reminded obviously jewellery especially earrings um, are not allowed large big multi-coloured hair accessories um, should not be worn hair accessories we do like to be in the grovens colours or something quite neutral um, dyed hair and shaved sections are not permitted in school either of hair um, and long hair should be tied back with um, so anything sort of like shoulder length should really be tied back just to stop any spread of nits and to keep it out of their face um, and PE kits are worn to school on the day of their PE lessons and um, penguins PE is Monday and Wednesday and flamingos is Tuesday and Friday Okay, so moving on, um, you may already know about our Grovens values, um, but previously, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, um, we as staff and governors and the children and as a school decided um, as, a, as a collective on our six Grovens values, um, which we decided were the most important um, values to us and that reflect reflected reflected our school so they are kindness respect friendship uniqueness trust and determination uh, we have all of us have got some Groveland's praise cards in our drawers um, with each of those different values on them so you might find that you get or you might have already had um, a praise card sent home to your child if they've done something or they just embody one of those values um, and each class across the school also create a sort of class charter set of promises based on the values as well. Um, the praise cards look a little bit like a postcard, don't they? Yeah. So you'll get it through the school, uh, through the letterbox in uh, school colors. Oh, my button's not working. Yes, it is. Oh, goodness me. Okay, uh, behavior system. So children are also um, awarded Groveland's values tokens, which link to our values, um, which are gold coins. They might have mentioned them. Um, and that's for demonstrating any of the values. And the tokens are collected in each class. And then we transfer them to the house collection um, boxes near the office. And then the winning house each term gets a special treat. And if you're not sure what house your child is in, we do have them stuck up in the classroom. Oh, yeah. So just so. ask. <laughs> Um, so concerns, if um, any of your children are ever worried about something, we do encourage them to speak um, to either us or to you. We talk very much a lot about trusted adults and people that you can come to. So we call, say if that's your parents, um, a guardian, a grandparent, um, us as members of staff, we encourage obviously to always talk to us. Um, but if you as parents, guardians have any concerns, First, seat, first port of call is to please come and speak to us or Mrs. Collins, um, and hopefully we can solve your concern or problem. Um, if you find it's not been resolved and that you do need to speak to someone else, the next step is the phase leader. And your phase leader for us is Mr. Kempton, who's in SEAL. So that's the end classroom. On the other side of the building, On um, yeah. year two. Near the hall, but people yeah. can direct you if you need to find him. <laughs> um, and then if Mr. Kempton isn't able to resolve it, then the next step is a member of senior leadership. So that would be Mrs. Coleman or Mr. Tuck, if you still need support with your problem. 
hopefully we're going to be able to sort all the problems yeah. out as uh, class teachers because most of the time it's something that's generally happened with us so yeah, yeah do come and speak to us if you do have any concerns our doors are always open always open always um there are a couple of parents meetings throughout the years like parents evenings um you'll be invited to make an appointment for them in autumn and spring i want to say they will be after half term this Similar. this time before christmas so probably november time um and then it's normally around march as well and then at the end of the year um, we don't have a parent meeting in the summer term we send you your final reports for the year um, parents with children with special educational needs will also be invited to a pupil passport meeting every term to specifically talk about the targets they've been set they've been set for those um so that concludes i think we've spoken so quickly we've probably rushed <laughs> we really through the have. entire thing um, but if you have any questions um that apply to the whole year group please pop them on the chat um if you've got anything specific then as we said earlier please yeah. come and see us doors are always open um but yeah we'll just have a quick hello see there was one um oh what a nonsense word so they would just be random words put together so it might be something like m a m m a b m a b and it would be mab and it's not obviously a word that it means anything it's just to show that they can apply the um phonics knowledge and understanding to any kind of word and that they can show us that they can read it correctly yeah. so all the words in the phonics screener that are nonsense words are all decodable so they're all with sounds that we will have taught them and they just have to show that they can use their decoding skills to read alien words um, the phonics screen test, the only thing is that we just have to report the results. Um, if they don't pass the phonics screening test, there's a level that they have to yeah. pass in the 30s. Um, they just get to do it again next year and they'll be given some extra support um, in year two to pass that. Um, and reading with a child, we would read with a child at least once a week. So between the teaching and the teacher, everyone is read with yeah. at least once a week. And then when we pass Christmas, we start guided reading. So we, as well as doing individual readers, we also read in groups. So generally then they'll be read with the teacher and the TA. So sort of twice yeah. a week. Um, occasionally it might be that you might sort of go, oh, they weren't read with this week, but they may have done a phonics activity with us that we needed to do at the same time. So sometimes we'll tick two boxes. Or sometimes they say, I don't have my reading record. And, <laughs> and, like, oh. and it is hidden in their back and they just haven't managed to find it. So, or the tray. Uh, yeah. Um, if there's any other questions, um, reading books. So the coloured reading books, they should be changing themselves. Um, there are boxes in each classroom for them to self-select those reading books. They will also be in the next few weeks getting a decodable reading book, which is one of our Phonics Sounds Right Dandelion books that they also have um, used in reception before. So you should hopefully see those. And they're ones that the children should be able to read completely fluently. And they will get those once a week with homework and we change those for them. Um, yes, we do count reads like reception. So we have the same 50 read scheme, um, which I don't know, we've already started ours. So very exciting. Uh, we we have it up on the board, but I haven't managed to count them yet, but they will be. But yeah, we do count them um, and then they get certificates every 50 and a book yeah. as well. Same as in reception. We missed any questions. Oh, I don't think on. so. Uh, yeah, right. screeny. Yep, I think we're all okay. Um, okay, brilliant. brilliant. So, if there aren't any more questions, I think we're probably going to be able to say goodbye to you all. Thank yeah. you very, very much Thank for coming. You for joining us. Um, obviously, if there are any questions, doors are always open. Just come yeah. and um, just come and holler. We haven't got a problem. Um, thank you so much thank for. You um for joining us we and really appreciate it mr tuck has said that he will upload this for anyone that's missed it yep so if anyone so. asks then it will be available thank you very Perfect. much everybody thank you so have much have a lovely day we'll see you later see you in an hour yeah <laughs> bye everyone bye um.